I'm Bias Trades here, and today we're going to be going over why is my platform data different. This will be a bit of a shorter video, but hopefully this will provide you value on why you're seeing differences between different platforms. Now, types of data that can be different. Um, different trading platforms and data providers, whether that be an API or another sort, may present different data due to sources and methods used to collect and present it. Volume data, for example, may be presented differently based on whether the data is based on the total number of shares traded or the value of the shares traded or if it's aggregated or rounded. Pricing, pricing data may also differ based on whether the bid or ask price is being presented or maybe it's using the last price or a different calculation. Market data may also differ based on whether it is being presented in real time or with a delay, whether that just be the 15 minute delay or a slightly um, seconds delay based on platforms. Technical indicators such as moving averages and oscillators may also differ based on the calculation methodologies used by different platforms and providers, and also how much data they have access to and if it is aggregated or not. Now, different platforms and providers may use different sources for the data, such as exchange data, market data, or aggregated data. Additionally, some platforms and some providers may use proprietary algorithms to calculate and present the data, leading to further differences in the information that is presented. Exchange data, this is mainly data that is collected directly from the financial exchanges, um, such as NASDAQ and uh, NYSE, um, commodities exchanges, currency exchanges, um, and a couple others. This data is often considered to be the most reliable and accurate data available, but it can also be the most expensive to access, whether you're trying to download it uh, or access it for an API, um, or even just to have it live. Um, and it also can be difficult to obtain um, than the other types of data depending on the exchange. Now, market data, this is the data that we are all used to. This is collected from a variety of sources, including financial exchanges, market participants, and other sources. Market data can provide a more comprehensive view of the market, but it may be less reliable than exchange data due to various um, sources and methods used to collect it. Your platform could also be using aggregated data instead. This is data that is compiled and presented by third-party providers who may use a combination of exchange data and market data to present a more complete picture of the market. Um, Aggregated data can be cost-effective alternative to exchange data, but it may be less reliable and less accurate um, when compared to exchange data um, due to the methods they use to compile it. Now, another one is update speeds. Another factor that contributes to this is the differences in frequencies based on the platform. Some trading platforms and data providers may update their data in real time, while others may update their data on a delayed basis. If you're not paying, for example, it could be 15 minutes delayed. The frequency of the data updates can also impact the accuracy of the data as market conditions can change rapidly um, and that may not be reflected in the current information on your platform. Now, this does not just have to be the case of 15 minutes delayed and live. Some live data providers have slightly delayed data when compared to the best platforms such as maybe DAS or um, Lightspeed, I think, Lightspeed platform, uh, or basically other direct market access platforms, there can be actually a noticeable delay between the two. Now, calculations. In addition, the methods used to calculate certain metrics, such as volume, can also lead to differences in data uh, between trading platforms and data providers. For example, some platforms may calculate volume based on the number of shares, or while others may calculate based on the value of shares, while others may calculate it based on the amount of trades that took place, and while others may aggregate that data itself. The rounding of volume on platforms can also cause differences between each of, uh, each of the platforms, whether they round it up or down um, to make it easier to read while others do not. This can result in significant differences in the volume data that is presented, making it difficult for traders to you know, fully um, realize what one is fully accurate and what one is the most reliable. Um, this is also a very common thing when I do uh, any data sets for clients, they'll notice the volume is different compared to their platform and that's simply because my data provider maybe uses a more accurate method compared to their platform. Now limitations. Finally, differences in data between trading platforms and data providers can also result from the limitations of technology used to collect and present the data. For example, some platforms may use outdated technology or systems that are not capable of accurately presenting the data in real time, with it causing you know, a couple of seconds delay or something else. Additionally, some platforms may not have the resources to invest in latest technology and systems, which can result in less accurate and reliable present presentation of data. That maybe causes them to have to use aggregated or simpler data um, so it doesn't decrease the speed of the platform themselves. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed it please like and share it with anyone else who might be interested also if you have any other ideas of why um, differences between data uh, differences between platforms happen please leave them in the comments below it'll be really interesting to read